Virgo, welcome back for your July reading. Okay, like I said before, if you've been cross-watching, you know, with other videos, um, we do have a lot of planets this month going retrograde. So it is going to be a heavy energy for you guys. And there has been a pattern coming through, you know, in your videos um, to do with some adversity that you guys have been dealing with. So I want you to be incredibly mindful this month that, on top of the natural energies and the blocks that you guys have directly been feeling, it's going to feel a little bit heavier, but it's actually not there to punish you. It's there to free you. So a lot of things that are going to be coming through are going to be directly connected to where you can gain your power back. So although it may feel like it's a very forced energy, it's actually there because it has been a pattern coming through where an aspect of your power physically has been given away. Um, and a, a lot of these planets, really, when you look at them, they are directly to do with being quite stern with us as human beings. They're also connected to very old wounds that have been, you know, internalized inside us. They can also be blocks that we've physically experienced due to external situations that have prevented us from reaching our full potential. So it does come across as a very um, heavy, angry energy at times. And you do need to be mindful of um, why these energies are going to be more so and it is connected to the planets. Uh, I'd like to say that around July the 26th, please try not to sign any additional contracts or start new things. And that's through to August the 19th. It's not a great time for uh, doing such at that time. <clears throat> you may find that certain items um, can be like just not working correctly. Uh, you know, your technology, you might start having issues with technology, um, emails. But try and just in the retrograde cycle, you know, deal with what you have directly in front of you. Deal with the emotions as they come up. A lot of us with Jupiter going direct around the 10th, there will be a shadow period. You may find that your deep truths that are coming forward to you, there's going to be a shadow period. So anything connected to blocks or ego, it's there's going to be a shadow period of that. So <clears throat> miscommunication can be a huge one this month. Now, just to give you an idea of how many planets are retrograde and why this month's going to be so heavy. Now, when we look at the chart and a color-coded kind of aspect, okay, this is what July looks like. That's why this month's so heavy. So it's like we're being pushed, pulled, and thrown through a bloody washing machine. That's about the best way I can describe it. But it is going to be something where it's some of these planets are retrograde, you know, going retrograde, they're moving direct. So it's sort of like we're going to be going forward and going back and then meditating and assessing these situations. On top of it, um, a lot of these planets are really asserting themselves and, and you know, digging to our wounds and reviewing our past, especially with Uranus. Um, and that has been, you know, since the 7th. But I'll, I'll try and do a separate video connected to that. But if you want to look into it more so, go and have a look at, you know, planets retrograde currently. Now, your chakra card that's come through in your reading is sound. Now, this can be the vibrations, the feelings, the emotions you're physically having. They're going to start coming to the surface. It is directly connected to your throat chakra communication. So this can be it's overactive or underactive. You need to be careful of the music and the sounds that you and the frequencies you're putting around you. So it may be you're misinterpreting communications or it can be that you you may be um, hearing things through the grapevine. But it's it's about coming to a place where you're balancing that energy. You're meditating as well, but it's a feeling you're directly getting this month. So you're going to be paying attention to your feelings more so. But as I said, the planets are going to make you do that regardless. So it's especially for your sign, it's quite prevalent. Now, in your general life, you're wanting clarity on something. So again, this coincides. Things that have been hidden are going to come to the surface. Your instincts are going to be what is going to tell you what this subject matter is. Now, this is in the general part of your reading. So your instincts are going to be extremely important. You're being asked to listen before you communicate. Hear all sides of stories. 
hear all sides of what the universe is trying to tell you and what your inside is telling you. Now, it can be that people are working extremely well with you. They're, you know, it can. I feel this is more your energy. You're trying to come across in a particular way to neutralize situations. So it can be that you're trying to be very patient with dynamics happening around you, but internally, very separately to this at the same time, you're assessing situations quietly and you're really being that fly on the wall to have a real deep hard look at situations so you can form a, a, a picture. I also see you going back down memory lane connected to where these blocks lie and wondering how life has done a 360 to get you to a point where you feel physically and spiritually stuck. Um, and I do feel for some of you it was connected to a connection. Now, for some of you, this was connected to a twin flame. For others of you, um, you know, this is the area that is highlighted this month in your mind and you're meditating on the situation. So try and gain clarity around this time connected to romance. And it may be that you're assessing your partnerships this month in general, past tense ones and current and placing them in a vibration of how you directly feel today. Not yesterday, but today. But the funny thing is a lot of the past is coming back for reassessment. But we're being asked to fix things, mend things, file them in the correct order so that we can gain the fullest of clarity to be able to have the action tools to move forward. In your family life, you're going to need to have courage. Some situations might come to the surface that you weren't really ready to address, but they're coming up because of the planets. So if there's something that you need to address, you need to come out of the shadows and into the light and sometimes we need to walk through the shadows to come into the light you're going to need to try and not take this situation personally again if you look at the planets it's almost like a weather forecast we're at extreme okay so let's just go there when you have that realization what it does is you don't become triggered when you directly realize that everyone vibrationally is feeling this. But when you're just very much in the 3D, in the moment, you can directly look at situations and go, why are they reacting that way? Whereas when you are aware of the planets, and it's only been recently really, I've been studying it more so, it's really, uh, it makes you super aware of the reasons and the timing things happen. Now, communication is going to be the key. Although it may be that communication in your family is going to start flowing better, but being aware, as I said, of the planets and why people are getting triggered is gonna help you with this communication level. It's gonna help you see the reasons why these things are happening. Now, in your financial life, it can be that in the past, positions were lost due to jealousy in a dynamic. It can be that envy or a vibration of that is hindering your progress at work. This, I, I don't feel this is you, though. I feel in some shape or form you allowed this energy to come in and it directly impacted you. For some of you, it may be that you're envious that another person is doing something and you wish to be like them, but you can turn that energy into a positive. Listen for the signs internally of how this card directly relates to you so that you can change that dynamic because what you'll find is like attracts like. So if you're wanting to manifest a cash component, <clears throat> When you are surrounding yourself with lower frequency, and that can be anything from people that are feeling really stuck, uh, disabled, connected to society boundaries, unless you're doing meditation and you're white lighting yourself, um, you know, in a sense that you're listening to something that is at a higher frequency to heal that area, um, and you can do many money manifestation meditation, uh, that along with the diet and adequate sleep, drinking fluid, and thinking of the best possible outcome when you're vibrating at that high level is what's going to manifest the cash component. But also your self-awareness connected to these blocks in the past of why this energy came through in the first place is what's going to release that karmic energy. We are in a karmic cycle at the moment, and it is 
it is really about releasing those old ties from the past of what blocked you like the little bird on the shoulder saying to you i physically cannot get that because every time i've tried to go into a job i'll just say it, some bitch comes along and friggin takes my thunder something to that degree I'm, I'm just being real with you so if that's the fact having that idea and aha moment connected to the suppression of your spiritual growth the suppression of your abilities to uh, reach that mass potential in your career or your monetary zone this is going to help you see why it's coming about and especially with you listening to your higher self in this situation messages from universe you're moving out of a time of feeling sensitive. You're really starting to assert yourself, but try and keep that energy balanced. You're realizing that your sensitivity sometimes has been your vulnerability. And yes, we do have to hold both. Uh, all of us as humans will have masculine and feminine energy. And at times we're needing to call upon the feminine energy. At other times we're needing to call upon the masculine energy. And I feel for your sign this month, regardless of what sex you are, you're really needing to uh, balance the both. At first I was hearing masculine energy, but I feel with the vibration of all the cards, a lot of it is very much yin and yang in order to keep the communication there you know it is quite a feminine um kind of energy where you're having that compassion but you're also dealing with the aspects of the shadow side which at times masculine and feminine has it but masculine has been experiencing it of late you're feeling as though in some shape or form things are not in divine order and that's downloads you're having that's feelings gut feelings and instincts in your life, if you feel something is in no order, assess that situation, but don't react. Not yet. Gain the information and the clarity connected it to it first. Some of these areas are to do with the fact that you need to be more nurturing towards yourself or a current area in your life that you feel has gone by the wayside. This might be connected to your family because I see family coming up of needing courage and taking personal responsibility um, and having communication. So it might be that energetically you're needing to give energy to that. But you need to follow your gut instinct of where you feel this is directly connected to. It may be in relation to clarity. Now... <clears throat> Your intuition also is starting to tell you vibrationally that where you thought someone was trying to trick you, it's not. It, it, again, it's like you're ha having this higher consciousness at the moment. So you're using a different technique. Instead of coming in all guns blazing, you're energetically being more aware this month don't get me wrong I do feel you're going to get triggered but I do feel you're going to see the writing on the wall so where you thought it was a tricky situation and someone was trying to pull the wool over your eyes you're vibrationally feeling things so they might think they're doing that but you automatically are going to have that intuitive feeling and and knowing and a lot of us are experiencing that through this awakening process it's almost like our six senses are being fine-tuned to a point where vibrationally feeling on our skin if we're around people that don't um, directly mesh with us we're starting to feel that if we feel someone is out of integrity we're actually picking that and we're calling them out on it so that's a very interesting yeah really okay sometimes you feel people aren't grateful for who you are and that can be um you know in your family life in your working life it feels if you're doing a huge assessment last month i asked you to go to the lion witch in the wardrobe and retrieve your energy you're still working on that I do feel the potential is massive. I still feel you're in an assessment stage at this point. So there is things that are finalizing and tying up and clearing up. But it, this is a process. You know, you can't build the tower without the footings. And I feel you're working on the footings at this stage and the planning action. So, you know, if you're getting frustrated at the lack of forward motion, just be mindful. It's like in a retrograde, it's almost like we're drawing the plans up for the building. So that's what you're doing at the moment. You're fine tuning it and you're seeing that the sun's coming down at a different side. So you're going to place the window at the opposite side instead of that side, however it goes. Just an example. So 
have a look at the fact that that's what you're doing currently and don't be hard on yourself but assert yourself where you're able to because any little step um, is directly going to get you ahead. I'm also being shown to try and venture outdoors regardless of what weather it is. Try and get that sunshine onto you because I do feel some people of this zodiac sign are starting to form phobias. Okay, this can be where you're really retreating. And again, the planets are doing that to us, but you need to challenge that because a lot of Chiron, you know, is showing us where these fears are. So write down where you feel you've got your trigger points and start challenging them ever so slightly and gradually. It's a bit like desensitization and that's going to help you move through that energy. Okay. Now you have this card in reverse. Release negative thoughts, maintain attention to the present moment, increase situational awareness, improve responsibility, thoughts and actions. Now it's reversed. I pay attention to what is going on around and within me. I am attentive. Now this can actually help you with it, but it's in reverse. So it's like it might be things under the surface that are coming to the forefront. So it may not necessarily be outside of yourself that this is happening. This is more an internalization of what's going on. So this, again, is still going to balance you. And especially with you trusting your instincts connected to what you're picking up and the purging, the healing, to get you to the other side. Understand it's a process. But take those baby steps connected to it, and that's what's going to throw you. Couples. Okay, you're moving out of a stage, and this is your energy in the relationship. It might be that there was uh, frustration, you know, sadness connected to a situation. Uh, it can be for some of you, you're living at a distance to family members and you're feeling melancholy or you're missing a time when things were simpler. And again, you do need to realize you're feeling these things. So music and, and you know, tuning into you and what you're feeling is going to give you ideas and cues of how things need to be. Some things you may not be able to change, but other things that might be you're meditating on them to release them because you're realizing you're starting new chapters. We really are starting new chapters. Um, some of it is going to show you where you've had a lack of faith. And again, this is towards you, inside you, and an aspect of you. And it's weird. Although this is a couple's reading, it may be that trigger points coming from your partner um, and some of you might be in a twin flame connection because the general energy was twin flame. Some of you might not be. Uh, some of you might be in this current situation and moving out of melancholy are connected to a twin flame that you're not currently with. So the faith that you're having in situations I'm hearing is coming to you. It's, it's due to past tense situations. It doesn't mean to say that this relationship isn't great. But a lot of what is coming up are real old wounds. So it's almost like our shadow sides are coming up to haunt us. Uh, and regardless of the love and the connection you may have in your connections right now, a lot of old processing is coming up and it's almost like um, the haunting of these relationships are coming into our relationships. So we need to deal with them so we can actually release them. You're also seeing where you would like to be more energetically empowered within this relationship. Um, and you're picking up on this. You're like, you're feeling like you need to take your power back in some shape or form. And it doesn't have to be that they've taken your power. It's almost like you haven't believed that it was appropriate or you haven't believed that you've had it in you. And you're starting to change your disposition connected to things. And it can be on the simplest of levels of choosing what food you want to eat in a day and saying, oh, dull, I don't want that tonight or something to that degree. It doesn't have to be major. It can just be an internal kind of strength you physically feel. Um, and it, it might have been due to feeling unwell that your frequency has come to this level. But somehow it feels as though you're quietly suffering in this internal prison. Now, it's not a healthy place to stay. So as I said, I am seeing you, you guys needing to be outside, 
mixing with people and, and having this communication. You know, it feels, although there's a heavy energy in family, it almost feels like it's a natural progression to help the internal healing. That part of it you have felt quite isolated, even though you are connected to a unit. Um, and you'll be surprised how many people are actually mirroring you on this level because you're not alone in that. A lot of people are, at the moment, really feeling these energies. Singles. You're dealing with the aspects of self-sabotage. This can be within your relationships, within a twin flame connection, or where you feel it's their fault or you feel it's yours. A lot of psychoanalytical energy is coming from. It may be that you're not hearing from them and you haven't heard anything. Be this a soulmate connection or other. It may be that you're quite connected to this person that you're trying to have a connection with. But you're trying to work out what to do from here. You know, where to take your relationship, what your purpose is, and, and why on earth this whole cycle in your life has happened and transpired. Uh, even in assessing a potential relationship, I feel you're meditating on it. And you're trying to feel your instincts of what you feel connected to this situation. But you need to use your throat chakra, which is going to be hard because your card is actually suggesting you listen. So only communicate from a place, place where you feel you have assessed all the facts. It may be you physically need to say that. I'm trying to hear my higher self. I will be in touch soon. And that's okay. That is okay to feel that way. But it feels like although your intuition is telling you, you still need to assess this and work on these demons. You need to get your vibration and your frequency correct. There may be communication coming in where you have to. And you're going to need to address that. It may be that this has been, you know, a way you've dealt with this situation the whole way through. And maybe that's not working. And look at the way the woman is holding her head. And she's like, I'm not listening. Maybe it's a change in the way you communicate. It can be via a song. It could be via a text message. But the silence in the technique is what's going to come through. But you need to listen. You're not listening. There's something in that. I'll leave it at that. If you're wanting to make a booking, you can go to the link directly below. Otherwise, I'll see you for a minute. Yeah, mid-months. Bye.